Good morning all of you. In this class I am going to explain you about the heat management. In the previous class we have already discussed about the stack allocation space. Now this one is the heat management. So all of you know that the subdivision of runtime memory is divided into four parts. One is core area, second one is the static area. These two are comes under uh, compile time allocation only. And the next one is the stack allocation. And fourth one is heap management. So these two are these two areas are comes under time collection. So here the heap is the unused memory space available for allocation time collection. Allocation time collection. Whereas if the code and static are comes under the uh, compile time, whereas this is the runtime mode. So here in this, the first one is the memory manager. So the main purpose of the memory manager is here it is used to, to keep track of the free space available in the heap area. So what is the available free space in a particular heap area? That information is the information is available in memory manager. So here this memory manager can be performed in two basic functions. One is allocation and second one is deallocation. Allocation and deallocation. So the main purpose of the memory manager is to keep track the information about the available free space in a key area. So this could be performed on two basic functions. One is allocation, second one is the deallocation. So what is meant by allocation? Allocation means nothing but we can give some free space. We can allocate the space. We can allocate the memory space. Suppose when when a program requests memory for a variable or object, the memory manager produces a chunk of contiguous heap memory of the requested size of the requested size. Whatever the size we asked, based on that size, first it will be give some chunk of contiguous heap memory. And here there are two things are there. The requested size, based on the request size, it will be allocated or it may not be allocated. Suppose we satisfy an allocation request using free space in the heap, if no chunk of the needed size is available, it seeks to increase the heap storage space by getting the contiguous to bytes of virtual memory from the operating system. Okay. So whatever we request at the size, if it is available, then okay, allocate the size. Suppose if it is not available, then we can we can increase the heap space storage by getting contiguous to bytes of virtual memory from the operating system. That is about allocation. Okay. And next one is the deallocation. So all of you know that the deallocation means the memory manager returns deallocated space to the pool of free space so it can reuse the space to satisfy other allocation request. Once particular variable is no need to use a particular variable then simply we can remove it and we can use that space also. So, one is the allocation and second one is the deallocation. And the next one is the here, some of the properties of an efficient memory manager. So, in that, the first one is the space efficiency. So, here the space efficiency means it should minimize the total heap space required by a program. It minimizes the total heap space required by a program. That is space efficiency. Whereas the program efficiency means it is mainly concentrating on the proper and good use of memory system to increase the speed of performance of the program. To increase the speed of the performance of the program. And the next one is the low overhead. So this means the frequently performed memory allocation and deallocation process should be performed as quickly. 
should be performed as quickly. Because Vasvi runs the program, sometimes memory is allocated, sometimes memory is deallocated like that. So this process should be quickly. And the second one is memory hierarchy of a computer. Memory hierarchy of a computer. So the first one is memory manager and the second one is the memory hierarchy of a computer. So in this, the memory management and compiler optimization must be done with an awareness of how memory behaves. How memory behaves. Generally, generally, the memory space available and the time required to access that space. Okay, to take any compiler based on the memory space and the time required to access that space. For example, take take this one. Suppose here, if you take 32 words in the register, it takes 1 nanosecond. Suppose if you take 16 to 64 KB of size, first level catching, it takes 5 to 10 nanoseconds. Because this is the size and this is the access time. Next one, 128 KB to 4 MB of data, second level catch, 40 to 60 nanoseconds. Next one, 256 MB to 2 GB size, file size. It is a physical memory and it takes time is 100 to 150 nanoseconds. On the last one, suppose greater than 2 GB size data, virtual memory, or this, it takes 3 to 50 MS in the seconds. Okay. So this is the size and this is about the time, how much time, based on the size. And the third one is locality in program. Locality in program. So what is meant by locality means here, the locality refers to the amount of data requirement for a particular program. Suppose take one program, in that program, how much of data required, okay, and the time required to access or locate the data. Based on, take one program, based on that program, how much of data is required and how much of time is required to access that data. Generally, the locality is of two types. One is temporal locality, second one is the spatial locality. So in the both the cases, the small, only the small change is there. In temporary locality means, if the memory locations accessed by it are likely to be accessed again soon. Whereas in this case, spatial locality means, it is accessed with a short period of time. Again soon, it is a short period of time. Only the, that is the difference. Remaining everything is same. Main locality means based on the program how much of data required and how much of time required. How much of time it takes to assess that data. So this is about the heat management. In heat management, if you have learned, first one is what is meant by memory manager. Second one is memory hierarchy. And the third one is locality in program. Okay? Thank you. Thank you all.